Hello everyone, I am AJ, and I'm here with another episode of Mountain Blade Viking Conquest. And I'm just going about business here. I think I should be getting pretty close to being able to defeat anything ever other than petty thieves. Because petty thieves are pretty freaking weak. So pretty soon I should be able to take out, like, literally anything else. So I'm going to do a quest for this guy, because why not? At your service, sir. Huh? Doesn't like me? Hmm. Whatever. This is too hard. I need more renown. So I guess I'll just go about the same business. But my budget is becoming much more affordable lately. I've got this much money. 1,276. And that is pretty good. It's a lot better than it was before. Yeah, I'm in the green for this month still. Even after upgrading all of my troops just recently. So I'm gonna keep increasing the quality of my army and not the quantity for now. So we'll see where that goes. Well, I accidentally ran into these guys. I have no choice but to murder them. Joyous day. I probably should set up in some sort of arrangement. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I'm a little bit closer than, to them than I wanted. So I'm going to have these guys charge, skirmishers here, and spearmen, okay, that's not good. Infantry. Hmm, this is not good, is what I would say if this was good. But since it is not good, I shall say, this is good. Get back here! Hmm, I've taken some serious damage. So once these guys are in a formal line, I guess that's formal enough. I'll have everyone charge. Marge. Alright, let's get over here. Murder. 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 Yes, I'm liking this. I think I blocked with his hands. He blocked my axe with his hands. Yep. What'd you expect, dude? Ah, crap. Well, I, for one, am not retreating. If I retreat, then I will lose a ton of renown, and I'm trying to raise renown. Hmm. This kind of doesn't look good. Well, I retreated and lost my renown. Oh, goody. 7 against 17. Man, that went poorly. How's my army looking? Alright, it could be worse, I mean. I guess. Still got four companions! And two warrior archers. Well, I'm leaving. Yeah, I don't care what you have to say. Alright, if I can just heal up, maybe I can take these guys out again. It all went wrong because there was some bad terrain. So I'll let you know when I figure that out, or if I don't do it. Hooray! Finally, this village is giving me a task. Remember one of the first episodes? How I pissed these guys off? Yeah, good times. Well, now they need animals. Five heads of cattle? I cannot afford that. You're such good friends. Asking me for things I can't provide. 
Hooray! Violence! Excuse me, Warlord, I was very close to killing with my bare hands that insect that calls himself Clovis. Hooray! That joke of a warrior does not understand how bravery without discipline can only result in defeat and shame. That shit, Clovis, saw fit to mock the warlike nature of my people, and even suggested that I am in Ingla land only because I was defeated in the battlefield fighting against the Danish, which of course has never happened. You're not in, in Ingla land, you're in Northvager. I will not have my methods nor my beliefs questions in front of me. Uh, that's clearly how a lot of people think nowadays. Never questioning their own beliefs. And I will not serve any warlord who tolerates such insubordination and stupidity in his shield wall. Thank you for allowing me to speak my piece. Um, I didn't really have a choice but to let you speak. So... Sure? Will that make you happy, buddy? Will that make you happy, buddy? Oh my god, I need Agathinos in my team. Everyone heals so slow. Hooray, this guy's got a smaller army than me. Sort of. Please don't be in the mountains. Oh, this is the good kind of mountains, the kind where I have an extreme advantage. I love what the hell was that. It's one of my crowning achievements. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to put the strong people in what the hell was that. And I don't care. Yes, I do. Don't lie to yourself like that. Is this all the people I have? Is this really 21 people? Weird. I am having my spearmen hold their fire, because once the bad guys, or really I should say enemies, get close, they can do a lot of damage by uh, firing only when they get close. Ooh, my horse got damaged. That's happying to hear. Very happying indeed. So, I'll let the archers take care of these guys, if they so please. Uh, but the spearmen should only fire once uh, they get nice and close. Particularly the highwaymen. You know what, I'm gonna fire myself some. Oh no, wait. I hit my own people's heads. Jeez, man, fine, I'll put my shield back up. Enemy lost a quarter, good. All right, everybody's firing at will. And now they're getting extreme height advantage. They have the high ground, because it's not like they can use their magic telekinesis powers to uh, throw lava at somebody. Or, you know, jump to the side of them instead of jumping in front of the, directly in front of them. Above them, whatever. <laughs> murder, murder, murder. Oh, I know an intelligent humanoid being who doesn't like the new Star Wars movie, Force Awakens, because there are a couple uh, plot holes in it. Meanwhile, he really enjoys the prequels. And every time I try and explain a plot hole, he says how it's writing genius. I just find that kind of strange. He did, however, like Rogue One, so whatever. But I didn't like the way he told me he liked Rogue One. He said, There's hope for it yet. The prequels were really bad. But it's fine. He's not hurting anybody. But seriously, the prequels were really bad. Right? Wait. Come back here. I want to murder you. Wait, wait, wait. Wanna kill ya? Oh man. I cannot turn easily. I actually have a new computer in my house. It's just a matter of finding a desk that's safe enough to put a, 
a tower on. But as you can see, I am playing with like uh, 16 frames per second, so clearly I'm not using it. Yeah. I shall never speak of this again. This would be much easier if I had a D key instead of a pomegranate seed stuck inside of the little nub of the D key. See, I'm pressing the D key as hard as I could right there, and it took me a while to turn. Hooray, 10 morale. And my inventory's full. Humanoids. Oh, I don't have any money. Why don't I have any money? All right. Duh, I spent it. Yes, yes, would you look at this, a ransom broker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sell all the prisoners I have. Yes, 1,300 Peningas. Finally, 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 I made some decent money. And now, to spend it on myself. Hooray! Here I am switching all of these guys to what the hell was that? Very intelligent decision on my part. It's about time I did it. Alright. There we go. Everyone's what the hell was that? Love that name so very much. It brings joy to my little boy heart. Indeed. It's a trap! So happy it's a trap. Yay, trap, trap. Trap, I'm gonna murder these trap. Ooh, that was not good. Alright, these uh, highwaymen are much harder to deal with. I think I might actually lose this, because I am injured. Hmm. Not good. No bueno indeed. Not bueno. Come on. There we go. I'm dead. I got surrounded. The second I got surrounded, it was over. They only took 124 peningas, though. Could have been worse. Why, you're not gonna give me stuff? Cheapskates. I just barely was able to afford those five cattle tons by East wanted. They expected a lot from me. Five cattle is not cheap at all. But I'm bringing it to them. Because I accidentally pissed them off a while ago and I'd like that to change. Alright, meet the leader. Hooray! Five heads of cattle. Any other tasks? Nothing? I'm recruiting. Alright. I clicked the wrong one, but it seems like... Okay, well, it didn't even give me any options, so I don't understand that. Either way, I got ten... Oh, no, I can't click that yet. Either way, I got ten relation with them. Five cows really makes them happy, huh? Guess there's a lack of women in the village. They got bored, so they needed some cattle. So they could have steak to eat. Here we are... I am buying up every cheap thing they have in here. I think this stuff is cheap. Oh, but I don't have that much money. Here, you can have the tar then. And now I'm going to go sell the stuff. Hopefully for a profit. All right, let's see what I can sell this for. Yes, profit. Ooh, that's a lot of profit there. I'm glad I took that person's advice. That, uh... 
intelligent humanoid organisms advice. Intelligent humanoid organism has been giving me some really great advice. Thank you, intelligent humanoid organism. Alright, here I am back at Tunsburg. Any people here for me? Well, maybe just a bit. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to sell a lot of stuff that I bought at Villages. Trade with locals, horse merchant, look at all this. Iron, I bought it for like 50. And the soapstone, I bought for like 90. So cheap, look how much money I just made. Money! This is by far the best advice I've gotten. By far. Hooray! Intelligent humanoid organism. For those of you who are wondering, intelligent humanoid organism is an incredibly vague term for uh, a human. Or a person. Whatever. So I've been researching about uh, how weapons and armor actually worked. And this kind of armor... Nah, uh, I'm not sure about this kind of armor. But the, the plate mail... The pl plate armor, sorry. I'm using the wrong words here. Anyways, I, I'm not good at calling things by their names. So excuse me if I use the wrong name for something. But the, the plate armor... You really couldn't cut through it with a sword. Like, at all. Like, really at all you couldn't. And that's why they were blunt weapons for being the shadow people. Because those deal damage regardless of how much metal armor you're wearing. And you couldn't just uh, go for the gaps in the armor because someone who wears this type of armor is trained to guard the gaps. I'm learning so much. Also, a bigger sword does not deal more damage. I know that now. It just extends your reach. That is good to know. However, a bigger mace or hammer would deal more damage. Here's some veteran renegades that I plan to- Watch out or die. Ooh, this is a nice, easy setup here. So for years, literally years, like over a decade, I've had this image in my head of a rooster fighting a tornado with song, I think. And for so many years, I had no idea what that was from. What could it possibly be from? I did not know. I just didn't. And then I watched a Nostalgia Critic review of, a, of the movie Rock-A-Doodle. And that was it. The terrible movie Rock-A-Doodle was the one I've been thinking of for literal years. Literal years. I'm so happy the mystery is finally solved. Yep. And after watching the review of Nostalgia Critic, boy was that movie bad. Like, he showed clips from it, I'm like, wow, that is really bad. <laughs> it was bad. I think everyone could fire at will now. Fire at will. Yeah, throw them spears. Them's fighting spears. Ooh, companion just died. Uh What the hell was that? Then infantry. Cavalry! I don't have cavalry. Ah. There we go. Hooray! <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Murder. Get back here. 
Woohoo! Hooray! I killed him. Spilled him blood. Them sp spilling blood. Them's fighting words. Them's fighting spears. Them's murdering spears. Ha ha ha. Yeah. I gotcha. All right. Wait. Get back here. Hooray! Yay! Murder! Free stuff! And by stuff, I mean people. Oh, look at this! The universe provides! And more stuff. I should give those skirmish javelins to one of my peoples. And those cracked ones as well. I still don't think I'm quite in a position to, uh, be selling, I mean, repairing weapons for my champions or whatever. They're not so cheap once you get down to it. I mean, one or two weapons is fine, but then start doing all of them and it's really expensive. And look at all these troops I'm upgrading. I got another, oh no, my first horn man died. So I've got a new horn man. Companion, and another bowman. Excellent. Excellent. And now I'm going to sell all these stuff and people. Free money. All I had to do was murder people. Ah, The ransom broker's gone. Hashtag going on murder spree. Because I didn't get my way. And now, finally, I'm going to sell all this stuff to the locals. Horse merchants usually pretty open. Free stuff. Free stuff. Free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. Maybe sometime in the future I'll head over to, uh... Once I get a boat, I'm going to head over and pillage a few more monasteries to make sure my reputation gets low enough. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I guess pillaging two monasteries isn't enough to get a bad name. That's going to be for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. I've been buying stuff from villages and selling them at the big city. Making lots of money that way. That's it for today, everyone. Bye!